this is into the fire. I'd like to welcome to Into the Fire the exciting, tall and agile future AFL player, Caleb Poulter. Nice Thanks, meeting mate. Caleb. You say nice meeting you. That's right. Well, Caleb, it certainly is a trying time at the moment. It must be hard for you blokes to know exactly how things will pan out. I'm annoyed I can't play. You must be beside yourself. Yeah, for sure. I mean, obviously with all the coronavirus stuff happening lately, you know, don't really know what's going to happen, but hopefully it all works out. Hopefully. Okay, so let's talk about you. I don't know a lot about you when, when you were a youngster like me. What was the young Caleb like? Where, di where did you live? And are you an all-around sportsman? Yeah, so obviously I grew up in the York Peninsula, just a nice small country town. And I dressed and played all my juniors out there. So down for I dressed and didn't really win many games. But no, nah, I was only child, so I was always outside and stuff like that. But no, nah, yeah, just a fun, fun little kid that didn't really like school. But no, nah, it was all fine. Yeah. So what AFL team do you follow, Caleb? Um, well, Mum always made me go for Crows when I was a kid. But, you know, growing up, you know, definitely found a soft spot for Geelong. So, yeah, I go for Geelong now. Yeah, Crows and Geelong are pretty mm. good. If there was a player in the AFL you could have round for tea tomorrow night, who would you choose? I'd probably choose Bailey Smith. He's a the kid from Western Bulldogs. Yeah, he's got a he's got a mullet, and you know I'm starting to grow up my mullet, so hopefully I can go out for him tea one time with him. So yeah, that'd be cool. You play for the Eagles and must have had a bit to do with some of the cool guys I got to meet and have got to know, Jackson Mead and Harry Schoenberg. Have you looked to those guys for any advice? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously coming from AFL academies himself last year and going through the draft ranks, I definitely got advice off Harry Schoenberg as he was part of the under-18s last year and, yeah, definitely got a lot of advice as he was a leader for us last year and obviously Jackson Mead as well, going through the senior ranks. So, yeah, we definitely got a lot of advice off of them, especially heading into this year. I mean, going through what they're going through, they sort of know how to go about it. So, yeah. Yeah, they're pretty good players. You've been selected in the 2020 AFL SA Academy Hub. That must have been a great thing. And what is it? What is involved in that? Um, so yeah, we've obviously done two camps so far. One up at Port Augusta, which was a cultural experience. So yeah, obviously done a lot of training and a lot of AFL education, which was good. And then the second camp was down at Emmanuel College. So yeah, we just sort of did the same. Had a fair few AFL interviews as well, which was good. But nah, just getting getting to know all the boys and hopefully can bring them, bring like the culture that we have into champs this year. So yeah, it was great fun. Yeah, it's pretty good. Sounds like fun. Let's talk about your footy. You're a very tall midfielder. Is that where you see your future or is it as a high forward? Which would you rather? Um, I reckon I don't mind playing a bit of inside mid and outside mid. That's obviously a great position to find the footy, but you know, coach usually puts me half forward in anyway. So yeah, as long as I'm playing, I don't really mind where I am. Yeah, everyone likes mid. It's pretty mm. good. You possess great agility, and at your size, it's amazing that you run through the midfield. What are your best attributes? Um, I definitely think my kicking is quite a good attribute of mine. You know, obviously, I can kick quite a long distance, which is good to hit up in a, a teammate. I also think my marking contestively is pretty good as well. You know, taking big, strong, contested grabs is, is good. So yeah, just stuff like that. Yeah, you're pretty good. Okay, so any areas of improvement that you're looking at getting better before entering the AFL? Um, yeah, I've definitely spoke to coaches and stuff about improving probably my clean hands, especially under pressure, and probably just my ground balls as well. So yeah, just focusing on that and getting them right. It's been yeah, definitely fo focusing them on in the pre-season, so hopefully they can get them right before the draft comes around. Yeah, I'm sure you'll be able to do it. A couple of little questions for you personally. You have a free day. What do you choose to do? Um... Well, I do a lot of things in my free. I like to go to the beach with friends. You know, I like to go for runs with friends as well and just train for footy. Just probably stay as active as I can. Don't really like being inside much. So, yeah, yeah, just stay active is good. It's pretty good. Would you say you're an academic that can play footy or a football that has to go to school? Um, oh, school's obviously very important, but growing up, didn't really like school that much. But as I've gone older, heading into year 12 this year, you know, probably realised how important that is for me. So, yeah, definitely been trying to focus on school and footy as much and trying to balance out that sort of work life as well so yeah yeah i'm pretty sure you're pretty smart anyway let's look a bit ahead to hopefully being picked up in the draft what would you be most excited about um oh probably just training training and being with the most elite players in the in the league which would be pretty good i mean you know whatever club you end up there's always great support and good players down there so just training in that sort of environment would be would be great i reckon so yeah yeah sounds pretty good so let me know what you think of some of these questions about other players who might be in the draft. Which player would you like kicking to you on the lead? 
Um, oh, there's obviously a lot of great players, especially in the hub. You know, you got your Taj Schofields and and Luke Edwards. They're great coming out of the coming out of the midfield. So yeah, I'd love them to hit me up. I reckon. They're pretty good. You're about to bend down and pick up the ball, and someone steals it from you before you get there. Who is it? Oh, I reckon. Ooh, I reckon Lock Lachlan Jones. He's a great. You know, he's great. He's great in the contest and in the ground, so he'd be the one that'd steal it from me, I reckon. Yeah. If you had to sit and watch the draft with one other player in your draft group, who would it be? Um, I reckon it'd be Zach Phillips, the Ruckman. Yeah, he's, he's in the hub as well, and I we moved out of home this year to live to each other, to focus on footy. So yeah, he's just been we've been great supports for each other. So yeah, I'd love to sit down and watch it with him. Yeah, that'd be cool. Someone is always first for training and last to leave the track. Who is it? I'd probably have to say Riley Philthorpe, you know, he's one of the most inspirational and, lead and leadership guys I know, you know, he's always out there helping each helping everyone out, so yeah, he's definitely the one that's always out there trying his hardest and, you know, just focusing on footy, so yeah. Yeah, he's a pretty good player. Mm. You walk out onto the ground for a South Australia and an opposition player walks to you. You say, oh great, it's going to be a hard day. Who's the player? Um... Oh, obviously you got plenty of good players that played in the Australia game. You got Elijah Hollands and all that. So yeah, I wouldn't want to stand against them guys. You know the ones who are probably going to go quite high in the draft. He's obviously done his knee, but there's yeah, he's just a great player. So yeah, I wouldn't want to stand him. I don't reckon in the midfield. Yeah, that'd be pretty hard. Hypothetically, of course, you get a thousand dollars if you predict the number one draft pick this year. Who are you choosing? I would have said Elijah, I reckon, but you know you can't really go past South Australia and Riley Philthorpe. You know he's a great player. Obviously played a lot of senior footy last year for Lee for Westy, so hopefully he can back a good season up this year and you know, go very high in the draft. So Yeah, Yeah, he'll go pretty high. Which South Aussie do you think would be most likely to become a crowd favourite in the AFL? Um, I reckon Isaiah Dudley you know, from Central. You know, he's a great small forward, probably Eddie Betts type, so you know, if he kicks a goal from the pocket, I reckon, I reckon the crowd will go crazy. So yeah, he's just a great, great energizer for our hub and for the South Australia side, hopefully. So yeah, I'd definitely pick him, I reckon. Yeah. Well, Caleb, you're certainly a talented player. And to go with that, you're an awesome guy. I've seen your highlights and you can really play. But what I like about you is that you can kick a goal and really love doing it. You see, on my pro program, that's gold. So when you do, you'll need what I'm giving you. It's the end of the fight. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I reckon I'd have to do that. I reckon yeah. Yeah, it's a great celebration. Right. I love it. Can you try that. it with me? Yeah, let's go. Right, three, two, one. Yeah, Not that's too good. bad. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, thanks. Well, in such weird, troubling times, it is amazing you can meet me and catch up. You're truly a great guy, and I can't thank you enough for meeting with me and talking footy. Good luck in the draft at the end of the year. Too easy, thanks. Thank Anytime, you. mate.